In this video, we are going to learn stop and chop technique of fecal emulsification. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with ringer lactate or BSS, applying few drops of povidone iodine. And now we can see that this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision, and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are about 3 clockers away from the main incision. And now the anterior capsule is stained with tripan blue dye. This is the dye. It is applied underneath this air bubble. This is a bit of adrenaline to keep the people dilated during surgery. The dye is washed out and we see that the capsule has been stained nicely. Capsulorexis becomes easy and we can see clearly if we stain the capsule with tripan blue dye particularly in cases where there is low contrast and now capsulorexis with the help of this utrita forceps the anti-capsule is scratched a uh, capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided anti-clockwise all around and an optimum size rexis of about 5.5 millimeter is achieved and now hydro dissection and hydro delineation this is hydro dissection and this is hydro delineation hydro delineation has produced a nice golden ring in this case and now let us see the stop and chop technique of fecal emulsification this is the scalp mode where the vacuum is about 50 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 20 and ultrasonic energy is according to the hardness of the nucleus in this case it is only 50 percent and now a deep groove is made the trench is deeper at the center and not so deep at the sides and the nucleus is divided into two pieces and now each hemineucleus is subdivided into two fragments and the fragments are emulsified at this time the FECO emulsification is done in FECO2 mode or quadrant removal mode where the vacuum is high about 400 millimeter of mercury in this case and flow rate is 40 ultrasonic energy remains same about 50 percent now we have to remove this cortex lot of cortex are there so I am hydrating the cortex using this irrigating probe first so that I can easily pull the cortex to to the center At this time the vacuum is 300 and flow rate is 30 and the cortex is being nicely removed. Irrigation is through the right side port and aspiration is through the left side port. And now the posterior capsule is polished by the irrigating fluid, by the irrigating cannula no aspiration is used we can use cap back mode for polishing but this is safer just the irrigating fluid is swept over the posterior capsule and whatever cells sticks to the posterior capsule gets dislodged and now implantation of an intraocular lens I'm going to use a B cartridge, so enlarging the main wound by 0.2 millimeter. The size of the wound is 3 millimeter now. Now here goes the intraocular lens. 
intercular lens, the leading haptic goes into the bag and the trailing haptic is pushed into the bag by the left hand instrument that is the irrigating probe. The irrigating probe is used to dial the lens. We can use a Sinsky hook to dial the lens but in this case I used the irrigating cannula. Now this is hydration of corneal stroma to close the side ports. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed. The visco we have used in this case is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The antechamber is nicely formed and then the integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of mox is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in performing fecal emulsification by stop and chop technique.